But the only path available to us is a treacherous one. Serenoa journeys home to convince the Roselle living in his domain that they must return to Hyzant where their kin live in servitude. Only by doing so can he win the trust of the goddess and ensure the future of his name. A duty which has proven to be one full of unsavory compromises. The Wolforts have departed on their mission. Do you truly believe they will return the Roselle to us? Of course. Young Lord Serenoa is brimming with promise, promise which I am certain he shall fulfill. Hyzant itself has promising youths. Perhaps it is time they relieve the old of their burdens. You need only say the word, and I shall gladly lead our nation forward. Regardless, young men are often led astray by their scruples, especially when placed in a difficult position. A man of some standing, though recently reduced. He will help Lord Serenoa see the righteous path. Him? Well, I suppose if it was a surfeit of scruples you feared, you chose wisely. I cannot help but meddle in my old age. When you have gained the experience I have, perhaps you will understand. And so the pressing question, how do we convince the Roselle to follow us? We avoid force by all means. However long it takes, we must resolve this peacefully. I'm glad we agree on that point. These negotiations will be a delicate matter. Measure your every word carefully. I know where the hall is. One castle is so very much like the other. Well, well, my old friends. It has been entirely too long. Silvio, you've got some gall to show your face here. And with a smile, no less. Now, now, is that any way to speak to the head of our high house? And an envoy of the saintly seven, no less. And they've offered you safe haven as well. Indeed. And I have been tasked by Minister Edor with helping you make the Roselle see reason. Just like old times, eh? The High House is once again working in accord. It seems we are not entirely trusted. We thank Minister Edor for his consideration and you for traveling so far. However, we intend to settle this matter with words, not swords. I'm afraid it is too late for that. I tried to make the Roselle see the wisdom of the Goddess's command, but can you believe their impudence? They struck out at me! What did you do, Silvio? He thought to take all the glory for himself, but his little encounter made him see the wisdom in Sharon. Hyzant is testing our loyalty, and the outcome will determine our survival. We must act before we are stamped out. Do not fear. Ah, oh, my lord. It seems our already delicate situation has become even more perilous. Perhaps so, but we mustn't abandon a moderate approach yet. I did not think we would return under such dark circumstances. My last memory of this place was such a happy one. They welcomed us with open arms. Everyone was in such high spirits. Only because it served them at the time, I'm sure. The Roselle have ever been ruled by Hyzant. 
It's time for them to accept the duty fate has assigned them. If Hyzant's rule was just and fair, then they would not have fled from it. And House Wolfort would not have sheltered them 30 years ago. That was 30 years ago. Who can House Wolfort protect now but themselves? Only the strong can protect their freedom, their pride, their lives. Sir Maxwell speaks the truth. In this world, the weak must serve the strong. And so now Glenbrook must serve, even if at times we find our tasks distasteful. If the Roselle must lay the blame somewhere, it should be at the feet of the royal family. Just so, what suffering have my people endured for my weakness? They've come! You are more brazen in your betrayal than I would have believed, Wolfhorse. We're here to parley, Jerome. Nothing else. <laughs> you have a strange notion of parley, my lord. Usually, it is not heralded by murder. Silvio, what did you do? Only what needed to be done. They wouldn't have listened to anything but force. Now, Rufus, let us make them see the merit in our argument. Hmm, I always have preferred to let my weapons do the talking. We'll die before we lay eyes on the source again. We will protect this village with our lives. Curses. As you command. To battle with pleasure. Consider it done. You would have Lionel? I'll give it a try. But of course. This land is our home, and we'll defend it until the very last of us falls. Did you hear that? Seems we have no choice but to oblige him. No, I will not have blood spilled needlessly. <laughs> Let's see how that works out for you, young lord. Let us pry out their weakness. All for victory. Our victory is assured. My turn. For victory! Here I come.
try this. A wasted effort. Defeat is not an option. Death from above! Just you wait. You won't beat me! To victory! A wasted effort. Looks like I'm up. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. I needed that. I will end this. With the powers in me. Prophet comes to the prepared. Tell me who to kill. Impressed? A wasted effort. I see a path to victory. You have yes. nothing left. Just you wait. I will end this. This'll hurt. For victory! Away with you! Forward! Death from above! Ha -ha! You'll get no mercy from us. Uh, have you brought coy? See what Lionel can do. Ha, who's next? Allow me. Come at me. I shall do what I can. This is what I do. Much obliged. Ah! I will end this. Stay right there! I have to do this. This is it! I see a path to victory. We must move fast. Your orders? This will hurt. You won't escape. My turn. Away with you! Carefully. Here. This ends here. Oh, curses. I 
How did it come to this? You are... You are irredeemable. You will never have our home! From us. Now then. Cannot impede progress? See what Lionel can do. You'll be fun to kill. Let me heal your wounds. I'm behind you, thank you. A wasted effort. For my people, First, don't it's over. Let me show example. you what I've learned. I shall try my level best. All for victory. Uh, time to work. Allow me. This is the end. For victory. Out of my way! No! The situation is grim. Just you wait. The hunt is on. Flugi, victory is all. No. Let me show you what I've learned. It comes to the prepare. Yeah. Oh, they ain't bad. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. My thanks. Ooh. Time to work. Try this. Let us pry out their weakness. A brief respite. Charge! Yes! Defeat is not an option. Perish. Just you wait. For myself. Prophet comes to the prepare. Go! 
Come, that is not thine else forte. I <laughs> don't. Cool lose. heads shall prevail. Allow me. I will remember this. I will end this. There is no mercy on the battlefield. You were overconfident. My turn! I'll try this. I have to do this. You bastard! Defeat is not an option. My turn. Ha! This is the end. I fight for peace. For myself. Oh, we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. For Lionel! I shall do what I can. Allow me. Very good. My growth is plain to see. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Let us steal our defenses. I won't lose! I have to do this. Ah! Forward! <laughs> Time to work. <laughs> Try this. Is that all you got? First, don't it? No! No! The hunt is on. You'll get no mercy from us. Allow me. My 
call. Lionel has arrived. Lionel has many tricks. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. Thank you. For victory. This is where you fall. For my people. I shall try my level <laughs> best. You have nothing left. Defeat is not an option. Death from above! I will end this. Ha! Victory is within reach. This is the end. Is that all you got? <laughs> Hurts, don't it? We have not come to fight, Jerome. Please, you must listen. Apologies, my lady. But your actions and your words seem to be at odds with one another. Time to take flight. Darkness engulfs you. <laughs> this battle is won. I will end this. Flames, heed my call. <sighs> we will make our ideals reality. Thank you, now to see what's up Lionel's sleep. You'll be fun I to kill. I shall do what I can. Your wounds are here. I owe ya. I won't lose! My last <laughs> strike's true! Now we make our riches! A yeah. That did it! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Yeah! <laughs> I cannot fail my people here. We must regroup. Should have begged for mercy when you had the chance. Stop! What is the meaning of this? I only came here to talk. You must believe me. Talk or fight, the result is the same. You want us to relinquish our freedom. Yes, it is our only recourse if I'm to save my people. Your people? We live in this land as much as you do. Indeed. Would that there were another way. I am sorry. Pray put down your weapons. There is no harm to be had from hearing us out. Lady Frederica, your mother was Lady Orlea, was she not? Yes. Just as your people did, she fled from Hyzant, after which she found refuge in Esfrost. The people of my village bear much love for her. For that, and for that only, I shall lend an ear to your words. position is unenviable indeed. However, I must deny your request. Pray reconsider. There is too much at stake here to make a decision in haste. The future of House Wolford rests on your shoulders. We sheltered your people in their time of need, a favor we now ask you to return in kind. 
We owe House Wolfort our lives, tis true. And I appreciate your candor. But to return to Hyzant would be to spell our doom. I cannot ask the others to make such a sacrifice. We would ensure that Hyzant does no harm to you, or your people. Apologies, my lady, but you are in no position to be making such promises. Else we would not be having this conversation. But... I... You have the right of it, and for that, I am sorry. However, I implore you to look to the future. Hyzant will stop at nothing to see you return to the Source. That much is plain. If they were to decide we were no longer of use, they would crush us and attack this village shortly after. However, if we were to gain the trust of Hyzant's most powerful, then we would be better positioned to see all the Roselle saved. And how much suffering would be made to endure until that day came. How many of us would fall? The future may look bright from your position, but we are not accustomed to such lofty heights. Jerome, please. Enough, Lord Saranawa. He clearly isn't interested in listening to reason. We've got other ways of making him cooperate, though. The sun has set, but on the morrow this matter will be decided, one way or the other. If you would stoop to force us from our homes, we will not be made to leave without a fight. No, it will not. Please, just allow us to speak further. My lord, I am not deaf to your pleas. In fact, I often dream of the day when we can leave this humble village and walk the city's streets without fear. However, returning to the source would mean sacrificing what little pride we have, what little life we have. But your dream could be made reality. We would fight to see you free. And then how long would we dream in servitude of the day you want it? Jerome, you said my mother's name before. Were you well acquainted with her? I was not, unfortunately. My parents, however, often spoke at length of her inspiring leadership at the time of the uprising. Without her, my people would have never made it alive to see the Wolfort Domain. I never knew. I only heard that she fled Hyzant. Not that she had such an instrumental role in the fight for your freedom. She was a strong woman, in both body and mind. Legend has it, she carved a farewell scar into the statue of the goddess. The statue that towers over the source? I've never heard that story. Of course you haven't. Hyzant would never let such blasphemy leave their borders. But we saw it with our own eyes. And so, the story lives on. Lady Orlea roused our people to action with these words, it is told. The Holy State's teachings are false. The Goddess's blessings spread across all Norzelia. The blessing of the true Goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people. The true Goddess? What blessing does she speak of? Would that I knew. The others tired of fighting and parted from Lady Orlea to lead a quiet life. Tis a decision some still regret to this day. Perhaps that blessing would have given us the means to topple Hyzant's tyranny. It isn't too late to get to the truth of the matter. Tell us what you know of this blessing, and we'll help you find it. You mean to say you believe the story? Those were simply words used to ignite the fire of a desperate people. Isn't it at least worth considering? Lord Serenoa, I'm sorry. I've told you all I know. Now, night has come, and we must rest, for we know not what the morrow shall bring. Jerome, wait! I see now you do not stand atop lofty heights. You struggle just as we do for any scrap of salvation.
Leave him be. It seems our survival cannot be bought without sacrifice. Indeed. All the more reason not to resort to violence. Do not lose heart, my lord. You may be head of our house, but we all share the burden of consequence for our decisions. If blood is to be shed, then we shed it together. In this, we are of one resolve. We mustn't resort to anything dire yet. I shall try to make Jerome see reason. Yes. Groveling in the dirt. I suspect we've all been brought so low. Is it true that a Rosellan village exists within the borders of the Woolfort Domain? It is. Though I have never been. Lord Simone granted asylum to the Roselle who fled the Source. Then an acquaintance of Lady Orlea's is sure to be among them. Perhaps a visit is in order. I've only the faintest memories of her now. She was my father's mistress, and a Rosellan. She shared the history of her people with me when I was a boy. The details escape me now, of course. How unexpected. I did not believe you cared a whit for lineage. Else you might have thought twice about using your own sister as a bargaining chip. Ha. Huh. And so you object. Why? On the grounds that you too are a sister? Do you believe you are worth more than your brothers? who gave their lives trying to free you? I'm worth a damn sight more than the man before me, who toys with the weak to feed his own ego. Well, well. Clearly, I've underestimated you. I may be powerless, but I am not weak, and I would endeavor to change the former. That will do. Frederico feels the same, no doubt. She takes after her mother that way. I should sleep with one eye open, lest you turn on me next. Huh. <sighs> Speaking of, tis time we retired. The hour is late. Come, Cordelia. Very well. What are you doing out here alone? Sleep eludes me. I take it you've had no better luck than I. I... I must find a way to move Jerome to my way of thinking ere the sun rises. You've changed, my friend. You've grown. And in such a short time. You are the natural lord of your house. Even in these trying times. Jerome leads his people well, too. The depth of his loyalty to them is plain to see. Even Minister Exham acts with duty and purpose. And in his own way, so does Gustadolf. Whether it be for your ambition, for your country, or for your people, you all act with hearts unclouded by doubt. And what of me? A whelp with delusions of vengeance. Fumbling to make my meager wishes a reality. All the while, my sister and my subjects suffer. And I am helpless to offer them succor. There is naught I can do but hide behind this mask and take what comfort I can from the company of friends. I am lost. Roland, I realize times are difficult. But you're too hard on yourself. 
You bear the heaviest burden of us all. Nonsense. You share the same burden as I. The lives of many rest on our decisions. Aye, that is true. But so it is with those who would lead. Yet, this time, the only path I can offer Jerome is one of hardship. I understand. However, I believe there is no man who intentionally sets out to harm another, and there is no man who is glad to serve at another's beck and call. Yet the wounded and the conquered exist in droves. The powerless are made to serve the powerful, to be tormented at their whims, such has it ever been. Perhaps it's the way of the world. Perhaps it will twist and distort until it is so. No. We aren't as helpless as you think. We are bound by naught but our own will, and the barbarity of the past can be brought to an end. We will bring it to an end. Not just for the benefit of our own house, but for the good of all. So that the tragedy unfolding in this village never repeats. Well said. My apologies for being so maudlin. If there is indeed a path to a better world, we shall find it together. Might I join you? Jerome, how long were you standing there? Long enough, but you needn't worry. While I am surprised the prince yet lives, I shall keep the news to myself. What interests me more deeply, however, is this path to a better world. How do you propose to find it, Lord Saranoa? I... I know that it will forever remain hidden if we let it, however. Jerome, this I swear to you now. House Wolfort will never draw steel against you and yours. I believe you. But I also believe that no amount of words will convince us to leave this place. And if we stay here, then you will have forsaken your duty to the Hierophant. Even if it comes to that, we will not resort to force. <sighs> that is heartening indeed. I believe I have taken my measure of you two, and I do not find myself wanting. I shall gather the other villagers in the morning. Then we shall talk openly. Thank you, Jerome. Tis too early to thank me, my lord. I cannot speak as to how the discussions will conclude. However, I shall do all in my power to bring us to a conclusion that avoids bloodshed. 